Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're looking at the 70 Dodge Charge RT. This is one of the most iconic cars from the movies. It's definitely up there with the Supra and the Eclipse, to name a few. This is the car that Dom drives in the first movie, and unfortunately he actually does wreck it uh, when racing Brian in his orange Supra. But at the end of that, Brian gives Dom the Supra as a 10 second car that he owes him, and it's also a way to get away from the police as Dom is actually wanted, whereas Brian is secretly undercover for the police department. But anyways, that's really it about the movie. Now let's get into the actual facts about this car. Okay, so Dodge only actually produced 9,370 units of the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. This is obviously not a standard Dodge Charger RT and has quite a lot of heavy modifications, which actually get this car up to 900 horsepower. You can quite clearly see that with that large blower sticking out the hood of this car. So this car was actually powered by a Magnum 440 supercharged V8 engine. And this car was actually capable of completing the quarter mile in just 9 seconds flat and had a speed of around 140 miles per hour to 150 miles per hour. That was obviously the top speed it reached whilst doing the quarter mile. Now we don't know the exact figure on this thing, but it's somewhere in that ballpark between 140 and 150 miles per hour. This car is also valued nowadays at about $200,000, pretty expensive to say the least. And this car's top speed is also unclear, very similar to the actual quarter mile top speed. But the standard Dodge Charger RT is capable of a top speed of 145 miles per hour. So we can assume that this exact one right here from Fast and Furious can reach well over 200 miles per hour. But again, we cannot be fully certain as we don't have any accurate figures on that. But anyways, that's it for the facts about this car. Now let's get into the actual showcase of this thing. All right, so let's start off this showcase with the side profile of this car. So first of all, we will talk about the wheel choice. So this car is rolling on the five spoke muscle wheels, which have been done in Chrome. I will mention that the rear wheels are actually much larger than the front wheels. I do quite like the look of that on this car because obviously this is a muscle car and it does give that really muscle look to be entirely honest. But on a lot of other cars, it does kind of look a bit childish and a bit goofy. But yes, I do think it does work quite nicely with this casting here. As for the actual colour of the car, it is all done in just a glossy black. It is not a metallic black, so there you go. And whilst I'm on all this type of stuff, I'm going to mention that this car does not have any wing mirrors in the casting. And I will also mention that the front windows are wound down on this casting. It's a really nice touch and it does make this car look a ton more sporty in my opinion. As for the tampo work on this car, we do have... Uh, very minimal tamper work to be entirely honest, but it does get the job done and it is realistic to the movie cars. First of all, we will talk about the reflector, side marker or indicator light, which has been tampered there in a reddish colour, surrounded by a nice silver colour, obviously meant to be like the trim which wraps around it in real life. Moving on to the rest of the tampo, so we do have the door handle which has been done in a silver tampo, and you can also see the RT badge has also been done in red tampo, once again surrounded by a silver tampo, which is meant to be the trim surrounding the R and the T. Finally, we do have a nice reflector or indicator light or even side marker light. I'm not sure if this one is a reflector or an indicator light. But either way, it is tampered there in a nice orange and once again is surrounded by silver tampo, meant to be the trim which round, wraps around it. And I think that's it for the side profile of this car, not a whole lot going on, so we will move on to the front of the car now. So as you can see, there's no tampo work unfortunately here, but I will mention that the entire front grille as well as the headlights are created using the chrome interior plastic. You can also see that large blower is also created using the chrome interior plastic there. And that is really all the detailing there. There's not a whole lot there, but it does look accurate to the real life movie car. And there you go. All right, so moving on to the other side of the car. This side is the exact same as the previous side, so I'm not gonna bore you with going over all this again, but you can obviously pause the video and have a look for specific things if you are looking for any of that. But if not, we will move on to the rear very shortly. But quickly, first of all, I will mention this car does not have any windshield wipers detailed into the plastic, which is made to represent the glass of the real life car. That is an unfortunate detail which is missing. But one last thing I do want to mention on the hood of this car, hopefully you can see it. There are some nice vents which are actually in the metal casting itself. That is very realistic to the real life car. 
And yes, that is it for the side profile of this car. Now we can move on to the rear of the car. Unfortunately, there is no tamper work here as well. That is a big miss and it is kind of stingy for Hot Wheels to only do the sides on this car. Usually they will do the sides and the rear or the sides and the front. Pretty much they should do three sides usually. Or if they're just going to do two sides, it will be the front and the rear. But I'm going on a rampage and a ramble here. So let's bring this back on track and talk about the actual car. So the entire rear bumper section as well as the rear lights are all created using the chrome interior plastic once again. The actual rear lights are carved out so you could add your own details using sharp acrylic paints. And also the license plate holder is also there so you could add your own details once again using some kind of sticker if you so wished. And that is really, really it for the back of the car, I don't think I've missed anything there. Finally we will talk about the roof of the car and the top of the car and generally there is nothing going on here. I will mention that the actual windows on this car are lightly smoked in a white colour, which is an interesting colour to actually smoke the windows with. But there you go, they are really quite lightly smoked, but you can quite clearly see they're not quite uh, fully see-through. They definitely do have that nice tint. Oh, and one last thing I've just mentioned there, you can see the fuel filler cap is actually on this side of the car. You can just see it there in the metal casting itself. But anyways, that is it for this car. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything now. Pretty sure I've went over everything there. So now it is time for my final thoughts and review on this car. All right, so now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car. There are quite a few details missing on this car, which is very unfortunate. It is really sad to see only the sides actually getting the tampo treatment. Hot Wheels could have easily done the rear lights or the front lights. Even just one of those sides would have been nice. But to only do the sides is very rare from Hot Wheels nowadays and it is something that is definitely not a good trend to set. They should definitely not continue this. Recently this year they've actually been really generous in terms of tampo, especially on that new 90 Quattro which had actually three different tampo print presses but on this one it actually only has one tampo print press being the sides. They are both done at the same time in the factory so that is a big miss in my opinion. This is a really nice car from the movies but that missing detail is going to affect my score because yes I would be given it a really high score if it had three sides detailed but with only the two detailed and those being the sides of the car it's going to definitely knock my score down. So that does lead me on to my score out of 10, one of this car out of 10. This is not by any means the actual real life cars rating or the one in the movies rating but this is actually the Hot Wheels model and I'm going to be giving this a solid 7.5 out of 10. It is not quite a 7 but it's also not quite an 8. The only reason why it's not getting a 9 is because of that missing detail and there's no wing mirrors on this car either. Those two missing details are definitely affecting my score on this car. If those two details were added to this car it definitely would be higher rated from me. But that's my opinions, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section down below. I do get that the wing mirrors on this car would be quite difficult to add because they are those chrome mirrors in real life which are very thin, so I kind of will let Hot Wheels off on that one, but still my score will be a 7.5 because of that missing detail. But anyways that is it for this video, so if you guys did enjoy make sure you like, if you're new to the channel subscribe, remember you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss any new uploads. Remember you can also share this video with any friends, family or in any groups who may be interested in this video. But remember don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways that is it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone.